Hello, Paul Hamilton here from UTB. This is what we're going to create today using Sketchfab um, 3D models and also Reality Composer, this um, super realistic kind of hammerhead shark animation here. You can see the tails going. We've got a beautiful little circling um, animation there, and we're going to create that today in Reality Composer. So jump into Sketchfab. Make sure that you sign up because it's the only way you can download the models. So you can tell that you've signed in by, I've got my little profile up the top. And once you've signed in, it's free. You'll see that there's a little download 3D model just down here. And when we click on that or tap on that on our iPad, what we want to do is we want to download the USDZ file. So we want to make sure we've got the bottom one because that file format works beautifully with AR Quick Look and Reality Composer and so on. So you can see it comes up here. And if I tap on that, it's going to give me a view of it. I'm going to jump over to objects so you can actually see it. And you can see the animation there. And then what we want to do with all Apple things, we want to go up to our little share button at the top there and we want to save that to our files. So we want to grab that 3D model with its animation and we're going to bring it into our files app. I've got both of them, so I'll keep both. And now we're ready to do and play with our model in Reality Composer. So what we're going to do here is we'll jump into, we'll shut down Safari, jump into Reality Composer, and let's see how we can create this. We're going to go up to our plus and create a new AR experience. We're going to make sure it's a horizontal anchor, which is fantastic. When we click on that, we are going to bring in our 3D model. So how do we do that? An external, we're going to go up to our plus and we're going to go to imported and we'll click on or tap on that once on our iPad and we will grab our files. Go to browse if you can't find it on my iPad or recent and there it pops up there and we're going to tap on it once and bring it in. It's super huge. So we're going to tap on it once here and make it go green or blue. And we're going to go up to our properties and we'll just scale that down. And we're going to move it around a bit. You can see our little uh, X, Y, and Zs. We're going to drag those different cones just to put it. By the way, each of these grid points is about a meter by a meter. So we can kind of make sure that it's to scale. I'm also going to slightly rotate. So I'm going to click on my green and I'm going to drag my finger around the circle just to rotate it. I'll look at it from different perspectives. Oh, it's not quite right. Let's go back to kind of, yep, that's good. And we are ready to go. So we've done a little bit of modifying of our shape. Now we're going to make it orbit something. So I'm going to add a sphere just in the middle because I need an object for this to actually orbit around. So I'm going to grab my sphere. I'm going to raise it to about the same level as the shark. Beautiful. That's looking great. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I might move the shark in a little bit there. That's great. And let's create our magic. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to our behaviors. So that's next to our properties, right up the top, next to the AR button. Here's our behaviors here. We're going to open that panel down the bottom and we're going to create our first behavior. So we'll hit plus. We'll go down the bottom of our behaviors and create a custom one. The trigger will be as soon as the scene starts. So it's the second from the top. And the action is going to be, if I go down a little bit on my actions, you'll find an action that's called USDZ animation. And so I'm going to tap on that once and I'm going to tap on my shark. Let me do that again. Make it go green and press done. You can see that my animation goes for about 11 seconds. Make sure you press done. That's super important. You can change how many times it rotates around or um, sorry, how long it goes for, and make sure that you turn on the repeat. So it's just going to keep animating. So if I press play at the top, we should theoretically get that beautiful built-in animation and it's going to be on repeat, which is super cool. But we don't have the circling motion. So we can do that in Reality Composer. So why don't we create another behavior? Uh, yep, that's all looking good. Uh, let's create another behavior down the bottom and it's going to be custom again. We're going to click on trigger and it's going to be start scene as well. Scene starts. So it's going to happen automatically. And this time we're going to go down our actions and do our orbit. So this is great for solar systems and things, but it's also great for sharks. So I'm going to say, right, what are the, what's the affected object that's going to orbit, which is the shark? Press done. And then what's the center object? We're going to select that sphere. So it's going to orbit around the sphere. Now, a little, couple of little tips from me. If you go down the duration, I want my shark to go fairly naturally. So it's going to go quite slowly. It looks like it's circling me, which is super cool. So I might drag that out to 20 seconds or whatever, whatever fits. 
And we're also going to align it to the actual orbit. So it's going to look a little bit more natural. It's going to face that orbiting path. Now, if I press play, something dodgy is going to happen. Watch this. It's going to go backwards. That's not too natural. I've got the animation working, but I just need to change it from clockwise to anti-clockwise. Uh, so it's going to go there. Let's try it again. And there we go. We've got our beautiful custom circling hammerhead shark animation with the Sketchfab animation as well as our circling aspect. And that's looking super cool. Loving that. So how do we share our AR works from Reality Composer to our friends and family and school community? How do we do that? So let me hit stop down the bottom because I'm in preview mode at the moment. And I'm going to go up to my three dots. Oh, sorry. Let's put a repeat on that path. I'm going to go up to my three dots and I'm going to export that. It can be a USDZ or a reality. Um, with your animations, just have a little bit of a play which one works. If you don't find both are working, uh, you can change it to a reality file. That'll work too. And I'm just going to save that to my file. So I'm ready to um, airdrop that to someone, attach it to Microsoft Teams. I can do anything I want with that file now that I've got that beautifully and working. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, if we go to files, we'll just see where that is. There it is there. Yep. Uh, back to browse on my iPad. There's the animation. Paul Hamilton here from UTB.